only on Fox. Abby. Andrew, Billy Anderson first got sick almost a year ago. He has been to five hospitals and has had hundreds of tests. Still, no one knows what's wrong with him. Can you give me a kiss? Thank you. For the last year, Nikki Peterson has practically lived at the hospital. It is heart wrenching. My daughter seriously believes that this is mommy and daddy's house. I love my daddy. He's 29 years old and the father of two children and an amazing father and a wonderful husband. At 240 pounds and six feet tall, Nikki's husband, Billy, was always as strong as a horse. He was um, basically the foundation of everything. That changed December 30th, 2007. They were living in Joplin, Missouri. Billy went to the emergency room with severe stomach problems. Doctors claimed he had a bug, but his symptoms only got worse. He kept getting, you know, like, stiff joints, he couldn't hardly walk around the house, he was running really high fever, he had hives. Doctors ran several tests. They couldn't find an infection anywhere, and two weeks into it, he went into full kidney failure. After two biopsies, they still didn't know what was wrong, so they transferred Billy to another hospital in Missouri. They discovered and diagnosed him with Crohn's disease. His kidneys recovered, but Billy still felt sick. Baffled, doctors transferred him to a third hospital in St. Louis. They had drawn some labs and done some testing and figured out that he was not making any B cells. Another diagnosis, although again, it didn't help. After two more transfers, multiple infections, and respiratory failure, Billy was life flighted to OU Medical. He can barely sit up in a chair. He can barely roll over in bed. Um, it's been absolutely devastating. Doctors have run hundreds of tests and still don't have a diagnosis. He's got a lot of fight in him. Nikki dreams of the day her family will be back at home together for good. Until then, she prays for answers. I am absolutely desperate. It is This is our cry for help that hopefully there's a doctor somewhere who has seen something like this before. Billy is feeling a little better. He's going to stay at OU Medical indefinitely. At this point, doctors believe he has some sort of immune disorder. Andrew, back to you. Oh, Abby Ross, thank you. Anderson was on Medicaid, but that was canceled in July. OU Medical, though, has a charity program for low-income families. Anderson and his wife have applied to be part of that program.